Denver's next improv star. Welcome, improvers. We are improv level four students at the Bovine right now. Denver's next improv star is hosted by Denise Mays and it is judged by Eric Ferrone and Lucky Johnston, not to mention a special guest judge. This week, it was Taylor Winger. <laughs> Reed, tell us a little bit about Taylor. Taylor is an inspiration to all improvers. So, Taylor is a improv student grad, improv instructor, improv director, improv performer. You know what's even better? Is we have Taylor coming in for a guest appearance in this vlog! In this one! This one! from the improvisers tonight. Attitude. Uh, well, what we meant by that was uh, to start with something. So we wanted uh, characters that were grounded from the beginning. Uh, they had object work. They knew who they were. They had backstories, frames of references, points of view. I think I said that already. So uh, yeah, just mm -hmm. like coming in with a feeling. Attitude. Mm. Attitude. Yes. They had to treat one other player with higher status and one other player with lower status. So all three players were doing this, and yes. this requires a ton of focus and listening to what your other players are doing and how they are feeling. Um, otherwise, in the first act, some of the strong scenes were when Ethan was playing into that he knew yep. he was high status. He automatically like reacted in a certain way. It was so funny. It was so funny. <laughs> Honestly, the competition is he literally heating up ah! at my fingertips. Ah! What did we get out of the first act? What we got out of it was keeping with your choices, continuity, staying with what you started with, yep. and like being strong in that choice and just going with it. Mm -hmm. like keeping your object work, keeping your emotions, yeah. and then like naturally changing. Yeah. Staying true to the character. That's a recurring point that we keep talking about. There was a winner of Act 1! Charlotte! Woo! Charlotte was fantastic just with her own character and how she was interacting with the other characters. Sorry, sorry, I wasn't trying to interrupt. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't mean shit. Well, <laughs> this is Charlotte. so funny. Charlotte. 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 Because you did, Mary. Oh god. <laughs> facial expressions really drove her choices home. Yeah. Thank you, Charlotte. Act two was so a much lot. It's very interesting because when we go to these shows, it's like deja vu yeah. of what we just learned in class. Just watching it helps reinforce what you've learned and helps you become better on stage. So act two tonight was all about transition and two person scene one person was on stage and they were a certain adjective or emotion so if you were like angry or excited or embarrassed and then the other person that came on stage was something else and the other person was trying to transform you into their emotion their scenes were really funny because of their location that was given from the audience was a crime scene yep so that was a lot to work with there were some really big takeaways that we got from this. It's more important than ever when there's more layers in a scene or a challenge. It's so important to listen because otherwise the audience gets confused, the players get confused, and it's just not as much fun. Yep. Having a character that knows who they are before they talk to uh, someone else. It was so interesting because just two days ago we learned this. Yeah. In class with Eric. Yeah. And he was talking about how it's a Venn diagram. So I'm a Venn diagram and Alex is a Venn diagram and we have to be our own person before we can relationship with other person. Otherwise what happens is that you either become the one same circle, not good, or completely separate circles. You want to be intertwined. Intertwined. Because this 
is where the magic happens in the scene. Boom! Right here! Oh! Before we get to find out who won, unfortunately, oh, we, wanna know. we have to talk about who was tapped out tonight. So, good news and bad news. Bad news is that someone got tapped out tonight. Good news is we'll see them back next week for the callback competition. So, tonight, tapped out was Katie. <laughs> Katie did a great job and she was um, a part of some really great teams tonight. Um, but we are excited to see her back next week. I honestly do not know how they made a decision tonight. So out of tonight, the top three were Sarah, Ethan, and Andrew. Tonight's winner was Andrew! Woo! 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 Oh. You seem nervous, Kelsey. <laughs> <laughs> in the seat at 7.30. Yes! First. We will be here. Al will be here. Uh, yeah. Get real. Get real. Get, Get real. Real. Get Get real. Get Get real. Get